Hi gang, it's uh, David again, back to you with yet another Oxygen Builder tutorial. So uh, the effect that we are, we are going to create is uh, whenever we hover over any of these blog post excerpts, you can see that we got this excerpt, post excerpt, sliding up. We got this, um, this category fading in. And we also have this date sliding in and fading in. And of course, when we hover off our blog post excerpt, um, it all just you know, fades away, it animates back. So uh, in order to just you know, speed the process up, I've decided to you know, not to focus too much on the grid itself. I mean, if you want to take a look at how to create grids here inside Oxygen, you can just take a look at my other video on that. You will see the card to that uh, on your screen. So what we basically have here is a repeater that is set to grid layout. As you can see, I got six columns that I've set up like this, just a quite a funky mosaic, I guess. Each of these uh, well, blocks, I guess, has, let me go to advanced, has a background image set to the featured image. And I've, of course, I've set to the background size to cover, left top 50%. And I've also added a gradient that goes from like transparent to black in order for us to, you know, to just to make the uh, heading and the excerpt and all the other components a bit more visible against uh, our uh, background. So with this div, this guy right here that is going to be hosting all of our uh, content, um, I think I'm going to give it a class. Uh, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it host. Why not? And uh, within that div, I'm going to add another div. And inside this guy, uh, I'm going to have you know what, maybe I'm just going to go to my repeater. I'm going to just do single mode for now, just so, you know, just we don't see everything reloading uh, every every other second. So within uh, this div, this guy right here, uh, I'm just going to add a, uh, maybe I'm just going to start with the text. You know, let's add our, let's add our, uh, like a category. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to change the color and I'm just going to insert the data and I'm going to choose um, category like that. And I'm going to click done. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font to Poppins and maybe I'll just uh, make the font like 12. This should be all right. And uh, beneath that, so beneath this text, I'm going to add uh, a heading. And this heading, of course, is going to be our title. I don't want to link it for now. That's just not important in this tutorial. And of course, I'm going to change the color as well to something like this. Maybe I'll change the font to like 500. And beneath that, I'm also going to add another text module. I'm going to, well, of course, we have to change the color. And of course, this is going to be our excerpt like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another text module and uh, inside I'm going to insert the data and it's going to be our date like that. I'm going to change the font to Poppins again. And uh, of course, I'm going to change the color because uh, in just a second, we're going to add a background to it. So I'm going to go to background, uh, make it a bit darker like this. And maybe I'll also change the font size to something smaller. Let's see 12 or maybe 13. And I'm also going to add some padding. Uh, let's try 10 pixels all around. I guess this should be all right. Of course, this text needs to go up here. So now when this is done, what I want to do is I want to move this text to this top right corner and I want to make it, you know, like stay there. And this div, this guy needs to go to the bottom and it needs to stay there. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to play around with my margins. So I'm going to grab this... Uh, well, this text, this date, I'm going to go to advanced size and spacing, and uh, I want to move it all the way to the right. So I'm going to set the margin to the left margin to auto, and I'm going to set the bottom margin to auto to push it all the way up. And same goes for our, this guy right here. I'm going to go to advanced size and spacing. I'm going to make sure that the top margin is set to auto, and then I'm just going to add some margins to the left, right, and to the bottom to make it all look uh, something like this. So now if I'm going to I'm going to save it and I'm going to grab my repeater and I'm going to go back to the normal mode. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a class 
to this um, to this date, and I'm gonna call it date uh, FX, something like that. I'm also gonna add a class to my uh, to uh, to this uh, category, so I'm gonna call it category um, FX, add class, and I'm gonna add a a class to this excerpt, so it's gonna be excerpt F X. There we go. So maybe let's start with our excerpt class. We cannot, uh, in CSS, we cannot animate the display property, but we can animate the max height property. And this is actually what we're gonna, what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm gonna do um, a couple of things. I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna add a um, transition and I'm gonna make it like 0 0.3 and I'm gonna make it is in out, there we go. I'm also gonna go to opacity, set it to zero, but I'm also gonna go to size and spacing, and I'm gonna go to my max height property, and I'm gonna set it to zero, and as you can see, it just, you know, magically disappears. What we want to do now is we want to add a, a transition and animation to our excerpt whenever we hover over our host class. So I'm gonna go to the state, and then add state, and I'm gonna type in uh, hover, and then I'm gonna target that excerpt fx uh, class. Now I'm gonna go to advanced, size and spacing, set the max height to something like 800, and then I'm gonna go to effects, opacity, and bring the opacity back to one. So as you can see, whenever we hover over our uh, host, that opacity is, uh, well, well, this excerpt, is gaining back its opacity and uh, its uh, well, max height uh, property. And if we just preview it, you can see that it all works very, very uh, nicely. So the next step would be to animate, let's animate our our date right here at the top. So it's got the, uh, the date effects, uh, date effects uh, class. So what we wanna do now is we want to hover over the host and target this effects, uh, date effects uh, class. For starters, what I want to do is I want to go to advanced and I want to go to uh, I want to go to effects and I want to go to transform and I want to add a translate x value and I want to make it 100% just like that. But as you can see, even though we are moving it to the side, of course we can still see it. And that's why we still need to go to our parent div like this host uh, div and I'm going to go to advanced. We can be on the class, that's okay. I'm gonna to go to size and space, I'm gonna to go to layout, and I'm gonna to go to overflow hidden, so we hide basically that guy. And also what I wanna do is I wanna go back to my, I believe it was this guy, and I wanna to go to, again, to effects, and I wanna change the opacity, uh, opacity to zero. And uh, of course we would also have to go to effects, and then not opacity, transition, and let's add a, maybe like a longer transition, something like 0 0.6, why not? And again, I'm gonna do is in um, out. Let me just save that. And now what we would normally have to do is to add another state to our host. So we would just do like hover and then date effects. And I'm gonna hit okay. So now, I'm gonna go to effects, uh, opacity, bring it back to one, and transform, add a transform, uh, transform, translate x back to zero. So you can see that it, it is working here in the back end, but when we go to, when we go to our front end, you can see that it's not working. And it's a, it's a bug in oxygen. You can, you can see that bug uh, around on YouTube as well. So basically what we have to do is we have to just do it manually. So I'm going to remove that uh, state and I'm going to go I'm going to go to manage style sheets and I'm going to add a style sheet and I'm going to call it uh, like blog um, effects. So what we want to do is we want to target our host class and when we hover over that class we want to target our date uh, effects class and uh, what we want to do is we want to set it set the tran transform we want to make it a translate x 
and let's just do zero. And then of course we want to bring the opacity back to one, just like that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go save it. And as you can see, it's working now. And let's see if it's working in the front end as well. Well, now it is working. Maybe it's a bit too slow, but uh, I mean, it's, it's more about seeing that uh, the effect works. So we would encounter basically the same problem with our photography, I believe. Uh, so let's see, we got category effects. Mm, so what we want to do with it, we want to add a, not a border, we want to add a um, transition. Maybe let's make this one a bit quicker, Maybe like zero two, just for fun. So easing out, there we go. And opacity zero. So again, let's see, I'm going to go to my structure. I want to find my host and I want to add a state. So I'm going to add hover um, category FX. So basically here, I mean, the only thing that we need is uh, we need to go to our effects and bring back the opacity up. So it's working here. So let's see if it's working in the front end. I'm going to refresh. Yeah, it's well, the category is working. So only that translate X or transform uh, property is not uh, working as it's supposed to. So now whenever we hover over any of these elements, you can see that it is nicely being nicely animated. So with just some simple, simple CSS, we can kind of like a mimic like a bit of a advanced JavaScript animations, I guess. And uh, well, definitely a nice um, portfolio blog uh, hover effect. So there you go. I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two. And you can always uh, check my uh, full course on Oxygen, just uh, click in the link in the description. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, be my guest, you can subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a nice design.